Hello and welcome everyone to a brand new Let's Play. Today we are doing Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. And it's pretty much a continuation of our Souls Marathon, if you will. Uh, so without further ado, let's just get started. Now this is going to be fun. I'm super worried about this one because of the parry system. But uh, I'm sure we'll get used to it just like everything else. In the closing years of the Sengoku era, Japan was consumed by perpetual conflict. The fires of war raged on, spreading deep into the mountains, to the land of Ashima. No, that's brutal. Lucky dude. Is the war finally over? Freaking giant, dude. Now they're feeding him. General is no more. Master swordsman Ishin Ashina staged a bloody coup and wrested control of the land. was taken from the battlefield. He trained relentlessly, and indeed, went on to become a master shinobi. Listen, Wolf. You must never forget the shinobi code. As your father, my word is absolute. Your master's is a close second. As of today, he is your master. Defend him with your life. If he is taken, bring him back at any cost. You understand me, don't you, Wolf? That was a pretty cool intro. Looks like there's going to be more story involved in this one as well. Some 20 years after Ishin's coup, the Ashina clan was on the brink of collapse. And the shinobi, known as Wolf, had lost everything. Both the man who took him in and the boy he had sworn to protect. Shinobi, open your eyes for the sake of your master. Time to get moving. Oh, 
ornamental letter, letter thrown into a well. Kuro's wolf, your destiny awaits you at the moon view tower. Escape from the well and find the tower bathed in moonlight. Even without a blade, you can reach it. Stay silent, stay vigilant. Okay. Didn't realize this game has stealth mechanics, but I guess kind of makes sense. We are, I guess, what, a ninja? Not really, right? I guess a shinobi. Kind of a mix. I think that's what that is, right? Shinobi, mix, ninja, samurai kind of mix. You know what I actually uh, realized watching that intro? Is, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the anime or if you even watch anime. Uh... But it's, a, it's like a 90s anime, I believe. Um, and it's called uh, Rurouni Kenshin. Probably butchered the pronunciation of that name. But it kind of starts off in the same way. In terms of, you know, Kenshin being... Losing his parents in a war. Losing his friends. as You know, as a child, pretty much. Just like Wolf. And then being kind of taken in by a... Uh, master uh, master swordsman I guess you can say I mean that's probably not a unique story but it is an interesting comparison so he kind of does look like him when he was when he was a child from what I remember stealth advance without being seen by crouching in bushes or moving under floors you do not have a sword at the moment use stealth to avoid enemies and head to the moon view tower. You're about to be seen. Warning markers appear above enemy heads. That shinobi at the bottom of the well. We didn't shackle him, restrain him, nothing. That doesn't worry anybody? Not at all. Not only is he unarmed, he has completely lost his will to live. Nothing but a coward. Unworthy of our concern. Well, we got you too. I'll get you back one of these days, whenever we get our weapon. Such a beautiful game. Let's hope there's not too much of this stuff. Definitely not the biggest fan of it. Only if it's... Because, you know, some games just abuse that kind of mechanic. With the ledge grabbing and all that. Just make it like Assassin's Creed or something. Let's hope it's not that much, uh... Or it's not that big of a game. Or that big of a feature in the game. You did well to come here. It's been too long, Wolf. I've come to free you, my lord. Well then? Raise your head. Kusabimaru, your sword. Uh, time for some payback. Those... My shinobi. Those samurais talking shit. In accordance with the bond of lord and retainer, you will pledge your life in my service. As you command. Kusabimaru, katana given by Kuro, the divine heir, an heirloom of the Hirata, Hirata family, a cadet branch descendant from Ashina. So, Ashina sounds familiar. Is that supposed to be some sort of, like, god or something? Once thought lost, it has found its way back into the hands of the wolf. 
the name Kusab Kusabimaru beseeches a shinobi's role is to kill, but even a shinobi must not forget mercy. The mantra of the blade itself may manifest. I wonder if that's something that is actually going to happen. You know, the manifestation part, or it's just something they say. Okay, so let's uh, let's check this place out really quick. Just the way out. What do we got up here? Pellet. Additional pellet. Medicinal pellets that slowly restore vitality. A secret treatment passed down for generations in these lands. Rec records say it has been used in battles since times long gone and lent to the famed resilience of Ashina warriors. A pill case full of these pellets would also serve as a battle charm. Just finished, uh, just finished up the Dark Souls 2 Let's Play. And uh, that that pellet's pretty much a a life gem. Although I guess we'll see if it's as common. Loyal wolf, I see you are wounded. I have something that may help. It is a special gourd of medicinal waters. Use it to heal your wounds. The healing gourd, a gourd filled with vitality restoring medicine. Resting refills the gourd, made by an apprentice of the extraordinary Dr. Dogen. Though it is strange that the gourd's medicinal waters refill automatically, the seeds within may hold the secret to how it works. Pretty much our flask. My lord. Now then, were you gravely injured? A afterward? After what? Do you not remember that night? I do not. Hmm. No. We'll talk about it later. Right now, we must escape Ashina Castle. As you say. There's a secret passage beneath the moat bridge that will take us out of the castle. Lord Ishin told me about it once. I ask you to find that secret passage. Once you find it, hmm, signal me with a reed whistle. You know, like you used to long ago. I will join you as soon as I hear it. Using quick items, you can cycle through various quick items and use each according to the situation. For instance, if you have taken damage, you can recover vitality with the healing gourd. Up on the D-pad to use it, left and right to cycle. The equipment menu allows you to change your currently equipped quick items. There are five slots available to equip and switch out quick items as needed. Now, uh, a small palm-sized wooden Buddha can be used repeatedly. Owned by the wolf ever since he was saved by his father, its corners are rounded with use. This Buddha is used to return home. It will return the user to the last visited sculptor's idol or the dilapidated temple. Sounds like a homeward bone, but like a permanent one. There's a secret passage beneath the moat. Find the secret. When you've reached it, I'll come as soon. Okay, that's uh, same as always. Or just nothing new on that. All right, let's get started. Officially. Posture and death blows. A shinobi aims to break an opponent's posture. Attacking an enemy is one way to achieve this. When an enemy's posture breaks, he is vulnerable to a shinobi death blow. RB to attack, RB after breaking posture, death blow. Alright, looks like we just got this dude in front of us. I didn't have much time to do anything. That guy, you know, he, he lasted a little longer, at the very least. Now, what do we got on this? Uh, I think that's the side we came from. We'll just go down here. Deflection. Sometimes relentless attacks 
Relentless attack is not enough to break an enemy's posture. Deflecting enemy attacks is another way to damage their posture. A master shinobi uses a combination of deflection and attacks to achieve swift victory. LB the moment an attack lands. Deflect. Man, I know we have a lot of souls experience, but my parrying was never the best. Oops. Okay, there we go. Oh, man, we almost died. Eve drop. By locking onto your target and keeping them, keeping your enemy in front of you, you'll find it much easier to attack, deflect, and perform other combat actions. Typical deflect buttons are three and left on the right stick to cycle through them. Okay, let's uh, be careful here. I really don't want to die this early in the game. It's supposed to be a tutorial section. Uh, this guy again. Oh. Yeah, one more hit and we're dead for sure. As long as there's no more... I mean, I guess we could use a pellet. If we really want to, but... Oh. Okay, then. This is going to be interesting. Counter Slash. Counter Slash can be performed immediately after deflecting an attack. This allows you to deal posture damage without giving the enemy time to recover. So pretty much right after the, the, the deflect. Ooh. Death number one. That was bound to happen eventually. Or at least we got a nice little checkpoint here. Oh, the weak samurais. Alright, let's try not to die this time. There we go. Now I wonder if the parry system in this game is, um, you know, the, I wonder if they give you more grace on the parries as opposed to what it was in, you know, the other Souls games. You know, in terms of like iframes. Oh yeah, now we're an expert. Hopefully we can stick with that with this dude. Come on, buddy. I don't want to fight you on the stairs. Oh. Death blows against strong enemies. Some powerful opponents require multiple death blows to be killed. The number of death blows required to kill an enemy is shown by the red circular markers above their vitality bars. Each death blow removes one marker. Looks like he's got another another stab to the chest coming then. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute, I don't want to fight you up there. Why am I doing what you want? Come on. Black ground. Get over here. There we go. Uh, we already read the pellets. Pretty much just it's pretty much a life gem restores HP slowly. I guess that message is gonna pop up pop up every time we pick up an item. Fistful of ash. Ash is grip into a hardened clump. Throw it at enemy. Throw it at an enemy to temporarily distract them. In Ashina, the snow fall is, falls thick, and thus the hearth will run thick with ash. 
Let's check out down here. Don't see anything, I guess. Nothing but death, at least. Let's go this way. Good old wall jumps. You know that secret passage at the bottom of the moat? Under the bridge? We just got orders to guard it. Mmm. Security's getting tight. War will be upon us very soon. Wonder if we can like drag these guys. Yeah, probably better just to avoid it. What the hell's this? Ah, I can target you. You're an enemy, so that's all I care about. Okay, was it... You know, with the game about, you know, shinobis and... I don't know, feudal Japan or whatnot. I was definitely not expecting any monstrosities, but I guess I should have known better, considering this is from software. Oh, it looks like the message is going to pop up every time we pick up an item. Although it does seem like the game is pausing every time that happens. Okay, so that looks like the secret passage. Do you want to check out what's down here? I doubt we... I, I doubt From Software would get us stuck. So let's just check this out. Ah, oh, poor lizard. Man, that's a big lizard, though. To be honest. Does this even give me anything? I guess not. And I guess that's it for all of them. Oh, it's the other side, of course. Gotta go through the bridge again. I hmm, wonder what's on this side. I don't think this is the way we're supposed to go. I guess we could just jump down. This is interesting. It's a whole nother side. Let's check this out. We can make it back to the start or, or to the secret door anyways. Oh, I guess there's really not just nothing here. Well, at least we don't have to take the bridge again. This appears to be the escape route, call the divine air with the reed whistle. Okay, let's do it. Now this kid makes it here. I'll never understand. Got no shoes Wolf, on. You found it. Now let us leave this place. Yes, my lord. To think that this is the only way to run from the fated bloodline is the only answer. Where shall we go once we're away from the castle? I suppose the first thing we should do is cross the Ashina border. Or perhaps we should hide somewhere. What do you think? Whatever you desire. Whatever I desire, that's the wolf I know. My lord. <laughs> oh, nothing. I was just reminiscing. Onward, then. Yeah, I thought he was just asking for our honest opinion. I mean, he might be a lord, but still a kid. Let us press onward. Once we leave this passage, we'll be outside the castle walls. 
Right thing, boss. You following? Ooh, somebody out there. Let us press onward once we leave. Yeah, well, there's somebody out there. Right, maybe he's friendly. Can't target him. Oh, cutscene. The Divine Heir. Last we stood together was your uncle's funeral. Lord Genichiro. I... Thank you. Leave this to me. Oh, we still have our healing gourd. So let's see how this goes. So the noble shinobi stands in our way. Well, that's our duty. Genichiro you Ashina. Genichiro Ashina. Ooh, I don't know anything about that. Hold on, hold on. We have some healing to do. Ooh. That was over quick. Oh, we paid a price. Could be worse, though. Could, be, could have been our head. I'm sure we'll get you later. Is that all the shinobi has to offer? The divine heir will be coming with me. Dude, I've only been playing for like 28, you know, 30 minutes pretty much. Who the hell is that? I guess they knocked the kid out. Great, now we're gonna have to go find him. So you're awake. Looks like death is not your fate just yet. Oh, that's good to know. The Shinobi prosthetic. The artificial arm of a shinobi passed down by the sculptor. A replica of a human arm fitted with a variety of mechanisms. Apparently designed with modification in mind, while it bears a number of cuts and is stained thick with blood and oil, it has been impeccably, impeccably maintained. What do you call yourself? Your eyes, the eyes of a wolf who has failed in his duties, or so it seems to me. That is not your concern. Spoken like a true shinobi, I must carve 
the Buddha. You do what you will. Seem like you've carved enough Buddhas, man. This place is full of them. Why am I here? All I did was drag you here. Didn't even know if I was dragging a corpse. Couldn't let you get eaten by a pack of wild dogs. How long was I asleep? <laughs> Some time has passed since I found you. I see. However, your master yet lives. <clears throat> He's being held prisoner in Ashina Castle. They will soon make use of his bloodline. Looking at you, I'm sure you appreciate the value it has. My left arm. What did you do to me? That is what I call the Shinobi prosthetic. A fitting fang for a one-armed wolf. Useless when it comes to carving Buddha, though. You can have it. Shinobi prosthetic? It is no mere replacement for your lost arm. Come to me if you find any shinobi tools. Shinobi tools? I see. For this device. <laughs> you catch on quick. If you bring me shinobi tools, I'll find a way to fit them to the shinobi prosthetic. Then you'll come to appreciate its worth. <laughs> I've said too much. Go now. Does this guy have one arm? And I was wondering why he was carving... You no, know, in, in the intro cutscene. Super, you know, why he wasn't holding it and it was super bizarre. Because he only does have one arm. Or we can't see the other one. wonder how he lost it. What did you mean when you said they'll make use of his bloodline? I don't know much about him, except the dragon's heritage. There's a special kind of blood by that name, and that blood runs through your master's veins. So the divine heir... Someone's after him. Might be that the strange things happening to your body have something to do with that. Okay. You're quite the strange one, yet... Other peculiar visitors have come to this temple. There's one in the clearing to the right of the gate leading off the temple grounds. Two strangers in strange circumstances. You two might get along. Okay. Thanks for the arm then, buddy. Remnants. Shinobi can leave behind shadows of their past action. Their actions known as remnants. Remnants are left to discipline one's peers. Some are masters of the way ahead. Some or others provoke sporting rivalries. Oh, this must be like uh, messages. I guess you can leave little recordings of yourself. Pretty cool. It's a little different than a message, but still pretty cool. More pellets. What's this thing? This must, what's this thing? Oh, it must be my bonfire. Sculptor's Idol menu. Sculptor's Idols serve as a checkpoint and can be found throughout Ashina. Resting at a Sculptor's Idol will completely replenish vitality and restore one use of resurrection. Additionally, quick items and spirit emblems in storage will be added to your current inventory, with some exceptions. Resting will also revive defeated enemies. Okay. I guess let's uh, make it official and rest. Oh, looks like somebody popped up over here. Who are you? You truly returned from the dead. The power of the dragon's blood. I never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. Who are you? My name is Emma. I am a doctor serving a certain master. What master? Forgive me, but for his safety, I cannot reveal his identity. However, my master gave explicit orders to assist you in any way I can. Mm. I'm not telling you to trust me. 
However, I must fulfill my master's orders. The gourd of medicinal water you possess, that was originally a creation of mine. I am a doctor, and I will assist you in that capacity. This must be my, uh, my maiden, pretty much. In a way, I guess. Am I the physician? You made this gourd. Yes. It was intended for Lord Kuro, but it seems he entrusted it to you. I'm sure you may have noticed, but the medicinal waters in this gourd spring forth on their own. Even after being emptied, you will find it full again after a short rest. Yes. Is there a way to improve it? Bring me gourd seeds. Straight to the point. Gourd seeds? Yes. Medicinal waters flow from gourd seeds, adding new seeds will increase the volume of these medicinal waters. If you find any, bring them to me. All right. I'm surprised how much explanation is already going on in this game. There's probably more explanation in the first 30 minutes than there is in pretty much all of Dark Souls 1. Or I guess any of the other ones as well. I'd like to make a request. Oh, what here we it? go. Please show me your face. What? Hmm. This white mark, is it a birthmark? No. Then, that must mean it appears on those who have received the dragon's heritage. Or perhaps, it's a symptom. <sighs> Are you done? Yes, that will be all. I'm sorry. That was rather rude of me. So, it's not a birthmark. Then, that must mean it appears on those who have received the dragon's heritage. Or perhaps, it's a symptom. Huh. I still don't understand the particulars, but it appears as though your body is no longer confined by the rules of our world. Come and see me if you notice anything alarming. I will. I still don't understand. It appears come and see. Okay. Thank Goodbye. you, Doctor. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you're enjoying these episodes, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And come check out the live streams on YouTube and Twitch.